Hey guys and an amazing news for you all the DP4 that is the beta 3 version of Android P is available right now for all the projectable smartphones so I have installed it successfully on my Redmi Note 5 you can also call this smartphone as Redmi 5 plus and it is working just flawlessly guys it is as stable as the DP3 which I installed a few days back so everything is working just totally fine there are tons of features that has been added by Google and we are gonna talk about that first let me show you the file these are the latest post GSI files that you need to install along with the DP4. So the post GSI 1 has been updated to 0.11 and the post GSI 2 has been updated to 0.14. The post GSI 3 is almost same guys, no changes at all. And here's the DP4 which you all were waiting for. And let me show you the get info section. This is of 2.2 GB which you can install it directly via TWRP recovery or you can also find the fast boot method in order to install it. And now the question is how you can install the DP4. First one is if you are coming from the DP3 just dirty flash it. There is no need to wipe anything but if you want to do it you can just wipe the data and wipe the cache memory also. It is working properly fine. And if you are coming from the stock room you have to follow the same procedure that I mentioned before in my previous videos. So let's talk about the changes first off. We have the new display settings. You can choose the device theme that is dark light and automatic this is one of my favorite feature of the dp4 and there you have the light quick sliding tiles the light volume rocker options and the light power menu i usually use the dark theme because i think it looks dope as you can see this is all green and dark I really don't know why Irfan made it green instead of blue. Next one includes the new swipe gesture animation. Let me show you first. Let's enable the swipe gesture. You can do it via settings and gestures. So swipe up for home. There you have the beautiful new swipe gesture. There you have the new animation. The pop up like animation is new. And if you switch for the recents, there you will find the bigger recent applications. As you can see, it is a lot bigger right now. And I think there is an option of clear all also. So that's it. Clear all. We have the brand new icons. And the icons are also changed in this storage option. So as you can see, this is actually Material Design 2.0 that you are seeing right now. In the sound section, the call volume has been added. So here's an option of call volume. Another thing worth noticing is in the apps and notification there if you search the system UI system UI then you are gonna see the P icon right there. So previously it was showing Oreo icon but right now it is showing P icon which is proof that it is running the latest P version. Next thing worth noticing is that whenever you will tap on the clock icon it is going to open the clock application so that was not before but it is right now apart from that there are few minor changes and i've already made a specific video on that so i'm not gonna show it again i will leave the link below in the description of that particular video yeah so the dp4 has been released for all the project table smartphones which is having a partition and that are running snapdragon processors of course and before ending this video i want to say that the new post gsi files may cause boot loop so it's not like that you need to install the latest post gsi files and then only that the dp4 is going to work it's not like that at all you can also install the old post gsi files if they are working for you like for example i installed the latest post 1 gsi files and i used an old post gsi 2 file so I picked up one latest GSI files and one old GSI file and as you can see it is working absolutely fine right now. So again thanks to Irfan for the DP4 and I really think that Google is going to reveal the DP5 later this month. So yeah you can expect the DP5 coming to all the projectable smartphones later next month or maybe early next month. And for this wallpaper I will leave all the links in the below description box. You can also join our telegram group for the latest wallpaper. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and peace out.